Lesson 2, Quadrant Geometry, Distance Formula, Theory. Prove that the distance between the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by d equals the square root of x1 minus x2 all squared plus y1 minus y2 all squared. Now on the number plane, I'll plot the points. Here we'll have a is the point x1, y1. And we'll have here b is the point x2, y2. Showing those points up, we have to find the distance d. So I'll construct a right angle triangle here. Getting that across to there, and that one to there. There's my right angle, and there's c. Now Pythagoras theorem states that ab squared will be equal to ac squared plus bc squared. Now AC, this distance here, is going to be X2 minus X1. And BC is going to be Y2 minus Y1. Therefore, AB, which is D, will be equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Right, now here's the first example. Calculate the distance between the following pairs of points. In part 1, you have to calculate the distance between minus 1, 3 and 2, 7. Now what I'll do here, I'll um, just label these. This one here is x1, y1, and we'll make that one x2, y2. Now remember the distance from d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. So now it's just a simple matter of substituting those points in. We have d equals the square root of, so it's x2, which is the 2 minus negative 1, all squared, plus 7, take away 3, all squared. So that's going to give me square root of, so 2 take away negative 1 is 3. And 3 squared is 9, and here 7 take away 3 is 4, and 4 squared is 16, and that gives me the square root of 25, which equals 5 units. Okay, now here's an, an algebraic one. Again, I'll do the same thing, I'll, I'll just label those points. That's x1, y1. That's x2, y2, and d equals square root of x2 minus x1 all squared. You can have it the other way around, it doesn't make any difference. y2 minus y1 all squared. Okay, now just pop those in. So d is equal to square root of, now this will be 2ap minus naught all squared plus ap squared minus a all squared. And that gives me the square root of 4a squared p squared, and this will give me a squared p to the fourth minus 2a squared p squared plus a squared. And that's a perfect square. 
Now when you add this one to this one, watch what happens. Something rather nice actually. Of course you think you've got something quite complicated when you really you haven't. There we go. And notice this one now is a perfect square but with a plus sign. So that's going to be equal to the square root of a p squared plus a all squared. And of course that will simplify now to just a p squared plus a. Or if you like, take out the comp factor of a, a it's of p squared plus 1 as your final result. OK, in example 2, we have to find the area of the isosceles triangle whose coordinates are a minus 4, 1, b, 7, 3, and c minus 3, minus 2. Now we need to plot these points so we can determine which sides are equal. So to do that, I'll just, I'll just plot these. The a is minus 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. There's my A, and my B is 7, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. There's my B, and my C is minus 3, minus 2, which is over here. And I can, from that, you can tell which, is the, which two sides are equal. Obviously, it's the A, B, and the BC. Now, to work out the area, you need to find the height. Now, the height will occur at the midpoint because, from your concepts of Euclidean geometry, we know these two sides are equal. We know that's a common side, and we know these two sides are equal. So, these are congruent triangles, so these must both be right angles. So we need to find the midpoint first, and so we'll take point A and C, and the midpoint is going to be equal to minus 4 plus minus 3 on 2, and 1 plus minus 2 on 2, and of course that gives the result of minus 7 over 2 and minus a half. Working at the distance now, MB, using our distance formula, we can see that MB is equal to the square root of, now this will be 7, take away minus 7 over 2 all squared, plus, this will be 3, take away negative a half all squared, which gives you. 21 over 2 all squared plus 7 over 2 all squared which gives me the square root of 490 on 4 and simplifying that third you get 7 root 10 over 2 as the distance mv the height of this triangle Right, now having got the height, we need to work out the, the, the base length, that's AC. And so we're going to use um, distance formula again. So AC will be equal to the square root. Now this time will be minus 3, minus negative 4, all squared, plus negative 2. Take away 1, all squared, and of course that gives me here just 1 squared, which is 1, and minus 3 squared, which is 9, which gives me the square root of 10. So the area is equal to half this base times 7 root 10 on 2. Now something interesting comes out of this. Root 10 by root 10 is 10, and 7 times 10 is 70. 
So it's 70 over 4, which is 17.5 square units. Now this will always come out to a, a rational number, uh, provided of course that all the points are rational. Now there's another way of doing this. Um, many years ago a student asked if they could do it this way and I said yes, yeah, it's a great little technique. What you can do is you can draw a line like this and then another line across here. Keep going down. Alright. Now then you can work out the area of this rectangle. The area of that rectangle will be equal to it'll be this is five units here. And this will be eleven units across here, all the way across, which is fifty-five square units. So you work out each of these triangles. We'll call it triangle one. So area one worked out to be I think twenty-five, is it? Yep, because it's half the base times the height. Area two um, up here. Call it area 2, that's 11, and the third area over here is just 1.5. Now, so to work out the area of that triangle, you work out the area of the rectangle minus these three added together, and that will come out to again. 17 and a half unit square. And the beauty of this, of course, is you can, it doesn't matter what uh, sort of triangle it is, but isosceles, scalene, equilateral, you can just work it out in this, this technique. Quite a neat technique. Um, so a little section uh, I've got in, on, in proofs, which I actually go through this using um, a determinant method, but uh, it's, I, I think this is just as easy just to do this quickly geometrically.